recording. I'll give myself a little intro because I might be a brand new face for some of you on this call tonight. So I am Kim. I am one of your NMDs in our WA team and I'm really excited to run this call because something I'm extremely passionate about in this business is the personal development journey that you go on as you grow your business. And um, it's, it's something that has helped me stay so focused um, and grow through this and hit the goals that I want to hit. So I am, um, I'm going to pre-frame a little bit. I'm someone who I'm very honest. I'm very to the point. Um, I just say it how it is. And I just want to get to the content that absolutely changed my life, my mindset um, and my business. I just want to get it out to you guys. And hopefully some of it, all of it inspires you or you can relate to it. Um, at any point, please put in the chat a section if you have any questions or you need me to elaborate on something um, if I'm not making sense but <laughs> fingers crossed that I make sense the whole time uh, for you so uh, what's inspired me to do this call is first of all um, I just came back from the American conference the USA conference because one of my beautiful NMDs was on stage and I went over to support her and I absolutely love going to the international conferences because I never go in with an expectation, but I always come out with just something, something clicks. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. It's just fantastic. And conference is incredible for that. It really does explode your business. And I've come back and, and I don't know any other way to explain it, but I, before I went, I felt like everything was a challenge in my business and I felt like I wasn't doing good enough and I wasn't hitting the goals I wanted. I felt like I wasn't being loved by myself and by the people around me and I wasn't giving the love and I, I didn't, I just didn't know where I was at. I was at crossroads and I know we can all relate because when you are brand new in this business um, and if you've been in it, you know, for example, tomorrow, almost 20 years, 20 odd years now, there's always going to be challenges because when you start your own business, you have just given yourself the opportunity to change the way your life is going to go, to change your path. Now, the minute you change your path, the universe automatically puts challenges in the way because you have to grow through those challenges to get to that next level. And that's what a business allows you to do. So that's hence why the whole challenge <laughs> topic and um, so I've come back and I realized that I actually lost my mission I lost what I uh, would get me out of bed every day I lost my purpose and I wasn't feeling fulfilled and but I actually didn't realize that was the reason I was feeling that way and I came back and I was like what is my mission like I love this business I love doing the do but I actually need a mission to keep me going and keep me inspired so I can inspire everyone around me. I can inspire my team, I can inspire my customers, I can inspire the people who follow me on social media or what, whatever it might be. So I've got notes here. So when you see me look away. So bring um, and having a mission, what is your mission? So I'm gonna share my mission with you because I'm so proud of it. And I, I want you guys to really think about, you know, what's your mission? Not necessarily just why you're doing this business, why you're doing it is why you got into it or what, what the income or the community can give you right now, the product, um, but your mission is, is your vision. What, what do you want to work on every single day to grow bigger and bigger? So 12 months, 24 months, however long time, you're on the same mission, but it's just grown, it's duplicated. Um, so have a think about right now, what, what is your mission? Um, because mine is, I want to help. Um, it, I want to help wellness loving ladies expand in abundant success and love every single day. And it, and to me, abundance means you know, my, the health side, success. I can relate to the business and love is the community. And um, and when I realised uh, the minute I like worked this out, I got that tingly feeling. I was like, this is why I'm doing it. And now that I have a mission. It makes me want to take the action every single day, which is sharing the product, sharing the business, teaching people to do the same. However, that is whether you have conversations online, where you, whether you run events face to face, do coffee catch ups, whatever it is that you do to share our opportunities, whatever that is, do it and take the action on it because then that action is going to drive your mission. So, 
that really made sense to me. And now I'm like, I want to get up and talk about Juice Plus every single day because I want to help women expand in their abundance, in their health, in their wellness. And I want women to have opportunities to be their own boss and own their own time. So I hope you can relate to that because it, it really does, it just makes my heart sing and I love it. Um, so that was the first point I wanted to touch on. And then the second, uh, another point I want to touch on, and it was the pretty much the topic of the training is, you know, you have to grow yourself. To grow your business, you have to grow yourself. So if you look at it in a sense that your business will reflect you. So you need to work on yourself just as much as you feel like you're working on your business because at the end of the day, and, and I say need very loosely, you don't have to do anything that I say, but what I've learned is this and I know that other leaders in this business have learned this and they can back me up when I say it. So when I say you need to do it, it's just if you want to achieve certain things, then this need, it should be met. So... Um, your business, people follow you. You hear this all the time. People follow you in this business. They want to know what you're doing. Um, and it's so true because you could talk to a complete random about Juice Plus and then their best friend or someone that they're close to talks to them about it and they're going to want to do it with their friend because they follow their friend. You know, they don't know you from a bar of soap. So they're not, going to, they're not following you, so they're not going to listen to you. So people follow your journey and why you want to do this. and. So the way I look at it is if people are following me, I need to grow me. I need to give myself, do the self-care, do the personal development so I can be the best version of me. So when people say, what do you do? That's my way in rather than me going and spamming and spraying juice plus over everyone. Um, and the other side of that growing you to grow your business is it's a straight up personal development. And um, that's one of the biggest things that I took away when I first started this business in the first 12 months it was I would always you know I was very resourceful I went out of my own way to do my own trainings to search leaders in this business on YouTube and um, soak in as much as I can and one of the things I was taught is um, you know if you want to be successful follow what the successful people do because they've already done it they've already walked the path that you want to walk they've already put the footsteps down you just need to follow it so I did that and one of the people that I followed said personal development which not just one of my people follow, like everyone. Um, personal development. Personal development is huge. And it's not just learning how to grow a business. It's, uh, I like to swear, it's, it, it's for you to get over your shit, to move forward, you know, to, to break through the barriers. Um, so excuse, excuse any of my French that might come out today. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I need to do the personal development. I need to get over. I need to get out of my own way. What's holding me back? What's stopping me? What's my story that is stopping me from achieving what I want to achieve? And it was to get into personal development. I listened. I'll tell you my favorite, favorite people I listen to. I love good old Tony Robbins, good old Jim Rohn, and um, Les Brown. <laughs> He's fantastic to listen to. Um, if anyone knows who I'm talking about and want to pop, wants to pop it in the chat, for anyone who's writing that down. And I listened to these guys religiously on YouTube. It was free coaching every single day. Well, I just used my data, right? I used my Wi-Fi. Free coaching every single day on growing my mindset. Jim Rohn, specific to network marketing. Les Brown is just, oh, I love him. He's just so great. He just makes you feel full of energy. It's crazy. Um, and I listened to them so much because I need to work through my stuff. And so <laughs> I'm going on a bit of a tangent. The point of this is I had to do the personal development to grow me so I could grow my business. Just make sure you guys are muted. I just heard a bit of background. Um, just checking. Okay, cool. So do the personal development. Now, the personal development I had to also learn was on the side of doing my Juice Plus business. It wasn't a part of it because it was my personal training. It was to grow me. So I could overcome any challenges that I had, whether I was creating them myself or I felt like they were being put on me from the outside world and I had to get through it. So don't think, I don't want you to go away from this and be like, okay, I'm going to go do a month's worth of personal development and you don't do any of the high pain activities with your Juice Plus business because then you won't get, the, you still won't get the growth in your business. You want to do this on the side. So it's like, um, no, I'm not going to use that example. Never mind. 
<laughs> I was just thinking that. I'm like, that makes sense to me, but it won't make sense to you. So doing the personal development. Now, one of the things I read this book, and uh, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about personal development. I don't know, like, it's, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, I love it. It's my jam. And I read this book by Dr. D. Martini. And I don't normally read books, I do audios because books put me to sleep if I read. But I read The Breakthrough Experience. Um, it is, and then, funny enough, this is when we started to get exposed to MJB seminars, which you probably have seen a lot of. They're fantastic. And I would go see some of their stuff and I'm like, it's following the same um, stuff, which is based on like a quantum physics. So I'm the science girl. I'm going to get a little bit nerdy here. I really hope you can follow. I'm going to do my absolute best to explain this in layman's terms, which I think I do a pretty good job of because I have to understand it myself. I um, mean, I need the, I need the simplicity of it. Um, so it's the quantum physics, but it's the, it's the personal development side of it. So long story short, I learned this and I'm going to teach you something that's really cool. So we know, well, hopefully we all know, and we remember this from high school, that the smallest particle in the world is called an atom. And the atom has a positive and a negative to balance it, right? So it has an equal positive to a negative. And this is something, uh, this is what helped me make sense of it, where you have to have the balance. It has to be completely balanced for it to work. So like H2O, so hydrogen has atoms and oxygen has atoms. And when you put hydrogen and oxygen together for it to balance, you have to have two hydrogens to one oxygen, H2O, right? I'm just like, I learned this. I was like, oh my God, I feel so smart. And uh, that's to balance water. So the minute one of your hydrogens loses it's balance of positive and negative. It doesn't, it's not water anymore. So it has to have the balance. Anyway, if that doesn't make sense, totally cool. If it does, like you're a nerd like me and you love that stuff. But it made sense. And then when I learned that in life, we are full of energy. We are pretty much just made up of energy. You know, we are more energy than we are substance, which I think is really cool. And we cannot have the negative without the positive. So my long-winded story comes, this is how you can apply this to your business and what happens to you in everyday life. You cannot have the positive without the negative. Now, we as humans, the majority of us don't understand this because we don't get taught this. It's not really something you do get taught in school, right? And we live in emotion. So we go through waves of elation where we get really excited and we're really up, 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 up. And then we have waves of depression where we're down and we're sad and we go and, you know, poor me, why did that happen to me? So a good example is in elation. You're so excited. You just, um, you're packing your bags. You're going on, you're going to America. So you're going on your first holiday and the day you leave, you cannot find your passport because you're in so much elation, something, the universe has to bring you back down right? It gives that bit of depression. Like you've lost your passport. You can't go on your holiday, right? To balance you out. Now, if you're a person who lives in emotion, you will be so excited and then you'll become that victim of poor me. Why did this happen to me? I can't go on my holiday. Life sucks. And like, I'm being really honest here. Like that used to be me. That definitely used to be me. Um, and so, so what we need to do is find that balance and that balance is called love. And when you find that love, that's that gratitude, that's that humbleness, that's that grounding, that when you realize that you cannot physically have the good without the bad, when you realize that you draw yourself into balance and then you live in that love bubble, well, you live in that love and you have that, you radiate that energy that has that calmness. And it, it makes sense to me because when I can, if you're someone who, do, do you ever notice here, if, if you're following, I hope you're following me that you are, you're such a lovely person. I know everyone on this call is a beautiful person. Like we all do choose plus. We are, we're full of love and we are very kind, right? And do you ever find that you feel like you're giving, giving, giving so much love and so much positivity that you have those friends that are constantly dumping their crap onto you? Does anyone get those? Does anyone have people like that? And you're like, I put so much positivity out to the world. Why am I attracting all this negative? Yeah? Can you, and can you see where this is going? Because you're putting so much positive out there and you're not finding the balance that you're attracting the negative because the universe needs to balance you out. Yeah, do you need to be pos equal positive and negative? So how you can relate this to your business is you are going to have 
incredible moments in this business and there's so many of them. And you are also going to have moments where you have that many challenges. If I don't like saying this is a naughty word, but you feel like you're struggling or shit hits the fan or the ball drops on you, something happens. We all have it. A customer cancels, a teamy doesn't want to do this anymore. They found something else or you've copped some negativity on social media because you're, you're so elated and excited about sharing juice plus and someone just like fully negatively comments on your post or something. And and I totally lost my train. (laughs) I'm doing, I was doing so well. Um, Yeah. In this visit, you're going to have that. But when you realize that you're going to have the good without the bad, it, it again, it brings you back to that balance. So, you know, if I have something in my business that doesn't go the way I want it to go. And if I was to live in emotion about it, and I'd be feeling, oh, damn it. Like, you know, I'm going to be real with you. I had three customers cancel last month, you know? And I got the emails while I was in America at the conference. I'm like, oh, great. You know, it's heartbreaking. I hate it when customers cancel because I really want to help them, you know? Every, every, every reason is different to why they cancel. And I could be like, you know what? I could have my pity party and I could play the victim here and I could be like, you know what? This business is too hard. I'm going to give up. Poor me. Or I could realize, you know what, at the exact same time, I'm in America watching my beautiful NMD team member on stage sharing her story with the world. She's the fastest growing NMD in our whole WA team. Like how incredible is that? Can you see how even if I have something bad, I'm going to have something good happening at the exact same time. And then it brings me to gratitude. It brings me to love. And I realize that I am so damn grateful for this business because of the journey that it's created, because of the life it's created for me. And along the way, I'm going to have my ups and downs. But if I live in that balance zone, if I live in love, I am going to be compassionate. I'm going to understand when something bad goes wrong, something bad goes wrong. Then something good is going to go equally wrong. So you cannot have the good without the bad. Now, I just let that all flow out of my brain. For I didn't even follow. I've got my notes there. Can you guys pop in the chat that you guys are following what I'm saying? It's pretty epic shit. It is full on. I want to know that it makes sense. So pop it in the chat. Do you have any questions? Um, has it does it has it made sense to you where you had a little bit of an aha moment where you're like, oh my gosh, that's so true. You know, today I may have had ten things go wrong, but you're going to have that one thing that goes perfectly right for you that balances it out i'd love to know if that makes can you let me know if it makes sense in the chat guys <laughs> you know when you're just staring at me like what is this woman on about um and it can make complete sense fantastic thank you tam i love it cool ah oh, fantastic because i can't because i have to keep it on the big screen to record i can only see like four of you at the top i'm like i don't know if i'm if you guys are falling asleep on me um but yeah so it, you don't need to, no, I'm not going to say that. I never realized by doing this business, I would go into this, this much depth with personal development. What I found is when I started it, I became hooked on it. And every person, leader, uh, franchisee in this business that inspires me to grow to their level that they've achieved have all done a shitload of personal development. They've grown themselves. They've made the effort to get out of their own way and work on themselves. And I love that because I'm like, I want to be like that. And I did that. And it's so cool because, you know, you'll hear this, whoever you do your training with or whoever you follow, um, the leaders in this business are going to tell you, um, uh, encourage you to do personal development. Go grow yourself. When you grow yourself, your business grows. It has to because you become open to receiving more because you're living at that like humbleness, that, that grounded level, that balance. So you're allowing yourself to bring more in. If you can't handle what's going on in your world right now, if you can't allow yourself to handle it, the universe is never going to give you more because you can't handle what you've got. And what I mean is that are you living in emotion and you, are you riding the wave of emotion and you're allowing your external things to influence you? And at the end of the day, we all know this, right? It's common sense. We have complete control of how we feel, how we react and how we spend our time. External forces are always going to be 
I want to say penetrating on us, right? They're always going to be working on us. It's just how the world works. We put off an energy, we create, um, attract the equal amount of energy straight back in, no matter where that energy is coming from. So, sorry, guys, just making sure everyone's muted. So, now I've lost my train of thought. This is good. This is going great. <laughs> um, where was I? Where was I? Attracting and putting, oh gosh. This is good. I promise I haven't drunk any wine tonight, those of you who know me. <laughs> so yeah, so um, doing personal development and okay, now I remember where we're at. So go, you know, spend the time and do the personal development. I cannot encourage it enough for you to grow yourself um, so you can have understanding. And, and it's, I guess it's had a major, major shift on me because and I want to share a bit of my story. When I joined this business, I was young, I was 23. Um, you know, I was, I was naive and I was also a massive know-it-all. Um, I was a massive victim. And, you know, I always had that mentality. I was surrounded by that growing up. And that's what I believed how I was supposed to be. Like, poor me. You know, the world, it's all the world's knock. Now we're back to the train of thought where I was going with that. You know, the, the, it, the outside world is... I can't control the outside world and whatever it does on me, you know, poor me. If it, if it rains on me, it rains, you know, it storms and I, I wait for an external force or something external to lift my mood back up. And then I learned that and one of my biggest things I've learned is I, I'm in control of like my inside world is just to, is a reflection on my outside world. So it has to start from within. So what can I do to change the way I'm thinking? What can I do to change the way I'm feeling? You know, I get a, I get a message. It, I'm using these examples because it's, it's, it is relevant in this business. Okay, I get a message from um, someone in my business who, in my team, who doesn't want to do this business anymore. They hate it. They, they've had too many no's and they want to give up and they don't want to do this. And it makes, you know, I get really sad and I could throw the pity party. I could be like, you know what? My team don't even want to do this. Um, they don't. They don't like the challenges. They want to give up and then I could want to give up or I could be like, you know what, this happens. That's their journey. So I'm going to control how I feel and I'm not going to let it get me down. And then when, when I get into that point, uh, it actually allows me to be really fantastic upline because I can find the love and then I can give the love back and then help them find their love. You know, I'll, I'll get them balanced and get them grounded. And so you can apply that to anything in this in this business and in your life and not only like this is much bigger than this business guys this personal development actually changes your life like i'm not the person I'm, I'm just using me as an example here i'm not the person you met four years ago when i started this and i know every single one of my uplines can vouch for that 100 percent um and i know i see the team members who put their effort into growing themselves and accepting the challenges and want to grow through them in this business um, i see them growing so much and succeeding so much more because they're not just letting little things that at the, in the scheme of things is just little challenges on the outside get in their way so always always remember that like you are in control of how you react to how you feel you get to control everything that goes on up here and how you want your life to be. And if you can't handle the external forces that are pulling you down or they're negative, what do you do? You've got to get rid of them. If you feel like no matter how much in gratitude and in love and in balance you can be, you've still got this outside shit happening, then what you do is you remove yourself from it. You say no. You block it out. You don't deserve that. It's so, it's so simple. And I can tell you right now, it sounds simple, right? All this sounds, oh, yeah, that sounds so easy. I mean, so simple, but it's not easy. Nothing in life is easy if it needs to grow you. Otherwise, you will stay right in that comfort zone. You know, my comfort zone is fantastic. On the couch with a glass of red wine, really nice vintage cheddar. That's a really good comfort zone. And it's, I sit there sometimes. It's great. <laughs> yeah, but I know. <laughs> I'm just visualizing. I hope you guys can visualize me sitting there with the. Um, everyone has their own comfort zone, but you know, at the end of this, day, at the end of the day, this business is designed to challenge you to grow your own business. Whether you do something with that's network marketing, which is you know this business, or you start a traditional business, 
You need to step into a space that's going to grow you because you're going to have goals and to get to hit goals, you have to overcome hurdles. You have to because that goal is somewhere where you want to be but you're not right now. But you have to change the person you are and the, what you do and how you think and how you act to get to that goal. And then once that goal's ticked off, what's next? We keep growing. We keep climbing. And I love it. So um, my, I really just wanted to make the point tonight. I, I just let myself, um, just let it all come out because I, I, I thrive off this stuff, is I really want you to think you cannot have the positive without the negative. So whenever you have some, and you know what, when things go positive for us in this business, when we get a new uh, lead or we get a new customer, we get a new team, we hit our promotions, we um, run a really successful event, whatever it is, we, we love it in the moment. And then we actually, the next new day happens and we keep going, we keep going. We actually don't spend a lot of time focusing on that because we're like, cool, we've done that, what's next, what's next? But the minute something negative happens, how much do we dwell on it and hold on to it and think about it? You know, if it happens the first thing at the start of your day, it could pretty much ruin your day for you. You're just like, oh, well, I don't have no motivation now. My whole day's ruined. And we focus on that little thing. So if you bring it back to, okay, something negative, be conscious. If something negative's just happened, what has happened with equal amount of energy around it that's been positive? And then it brings you back to your center and then it keeps you going. And it, it works for me. It's, I've been putting this into practice for years now. At the start, it was not easy. It was simple, just like this business. It is so simple, but you've got to work hard at it. And then it becomes second nature. So now when something, and, and I still have my moments, and I'm saying this because I know my husband's listening, <laughs> and he'll be like, Kim, you totally throw pity parties, and you totally get overrated all the time. Um, I still go into that, but then when I need to snap myself out of it, when I need to find the love in it, I can. And I, I, I try and teach that to my team all the time because you've got to, you've got to be grateful because when you're grateful, and we know this, when you're grateful, when you're in that vibration of love, the universe sees that and you will, be, you will attract more of what you already have. And I think that is fantastic. Because if you're, if you're not grateful for what you have in your life right now, like not what, like doesn't have to be materialistic things, like the relationships, your business, the support you have, the love you have from family and friends, if you are not grateful for all of that right now, you will never grow it. The universe won't allow it because you'll sabotage yourself. You'll get given, and <laughs> I'm going to be a tangent, but I love this. Um, Money is a really good example. You know the people who win lotto and then they're broke within the year? Because they're not grateful for the money they already have. They're not open to um, being able to handle that amount of money. And so they spend it. So I, I find that a really good example. If you, and, and that's, you know, a lot of the reasons, the main reason most of us do this business is for the income it provides because the income gives us the, it frees us from our pain, whatever that pain may be. It gives us the choices. And money is a massive thing for me. And I'm like, if I am not grateful for the money that is in my bank account right now, I will never, ever get more. And if I get more, I'll get more bills. I'll get a speeding fine. <laughs> something, will, something will happen that I, I will lose that. And that has happened before. I don't know. I see some people laughing. So you're probably following me, following me there. <laughs> Notice that, right? Notice that. You just get, I've got to say, you guys, I know most of you might not be doing Juice Plus full time. You might be having work on the side as well. I can't see the full screen. Um, and so, your main income right now is your other job. And if you get a pay rise or you get a bonus or something, and then you notice in the same week, for some reason, your electricity bill is $200 more. <laughs> or your phone bill, you've gone over your data. Or there's a wedding on and you have to buy a new outfit and you have to buy a present or something. The universal balance, you can, if you can start to notice this, you can start to realize and be conscious of it and then know where you need to focus your energy, your thought and your love. And yeah, so anyway, it's going to kick me off in like five minutes. <laughs> um, I really, really hoped I, I've given you something to take away tonight that you can apply and, you know, it wasn't, 
Today wasn't about, I'm just going to pop it on gallery view. Uh, tonight's call, it wasn't about, I'm going to teach you how to do the ins and outs of this business. It wasn't about that. It's, I'm, I'm trying to grow you and the backbone of you so you can then have your, the, your self-motivation, your self-empowerment to go and do the do that this business needs, what needs to happen so you can grow this business and impact as many lives as you can. Um, I totally forgot to breathe for the last half an hour, so I <laughs> catch my breath. I would love to open it up to anyone. Would do, does anyone have any questions before we get kicked off? I would absolutely love to answer it. You can either pop your hand up and wave and I'll bring you off mute or you can, you're more than welcome to chuck it in the chat. Or did anyone want to share something? Or is everyone just a little bit afraid and doesn't want to speak on Zoom? <laughs> Maybe. All right. I do like putting people on the spot, but I won't with this. I won't today. Um, and I hope, I think my, did it freeze at all? I hope it didn't freeze at all. Um, oh, you're welcome, Hillary. <laughs> well, I might leave it there because if I get started on another topic, it will just cut out halfway through me talking. Um, did, did, any, did anyone have, can I, can I have everyone's interaction? Because I can see the names on the screen. Did we all, did anything click? Or did we have a moment where, oh my gosh, this happened the other day and now I realised where I was reacting and where my energy was. Yes, yeah, Sally, Sally's loving it. I love it. Fantastic. I'd love to know. Share with me. Anika made so much sense. Fantastic. Tam was the very relatable. You're welcome. Um, cool. So that's a full one. Well, we've got it recorded. I'm going to stop the recording.